Hello and uh, welcome to my, well, first of all, my sick day and back to my channel. I am currently snuggling in bed with my kitty cat and an ice pack on my forehead. So therefore, I decided to use this time to play a game that I am very excited about. It is a prequel to uh, the other Yandere simulator game I played. Um, and uh, I left this part up so you guys could read it, um, so I don't have to read it out loud. Um, and like with anything, if there's like a grammatical error, I usually just fix it in the way I speak if I don't make any mistakes myself. Anywho, let's jump in. And yeah, don't be shocked. And there's some changes in the story. And... I am emotionless. I was born like this. I don't feel happy. I also don't feel sad. I have to act like a normal girl. But deep inside, I'm not a normal girl. My mother, Ryoba Ayashi, is aware of this. My father isn't. I don't like anyone. I don't want to have friends. I don't want anyone by my side. And even if I wanted to, I don't know how to socialize with other people. My name? My name is Ayano. Ayano Eishi. Chapter 1. A Girl with No Feelings. Sunday, March 23rd, 2017, 9.30 p.m. Ayano wakes up in the middle of the night. She hears her parents talking about the basement. She gets up and walks quietly to the basement to see what is happening. At the basement door, she can already hear what's, what's happening. Her father and mother are talking. What are you doing down here, darling? Oh, are those our old tapes, the ones we made back in the 80s? What kind of tapes? <laughs> Did you get a bit nostalgic of those days? Well, I suppose you could say that. You know, I had a nostalgic moment today too, darling. I saw someone who I haven't seen in decades. And by that, I mean... This is the first time he's seen me in decades. Who are you talking about? I'll tell you all about it on the way to the airport, darling. Wait, airport? That's right, darling. Pack your bags. We're going to America. We can't do that. What about our jobs? Don't worry, darling. I already called the boss and informed them that we needed to take a little trip. How long will we be gone? I'm not sure, darling. It all depends on how fast I can track him down. Oh. <laughs> what about our daughter? Tomorrow's her first day of high school. You know the academy, huh? The academy, for some reason, starts school tomorrow instead of April 1st. Entry ceremony is only April 1st, too. Not tomorrow. Also, what about her birthday? It's April 1st. Will, will we be gone until then? If our daughter is anything like her mother, she will have absolutely no problem taking care of herself. I only hope that she meets someone special. It would be nice if she'd gotten a boyfriend by the time we got back. And are, are you willing... And what are you waiting for? We need to go, darling. And what about our tapes? They're scattered everywhere. Don't bother, darling. What if our daughter finds them? You know, those pa there's a part of me that hopes she does. Ayana quietly walks back to her bedroom again and goes to sleep. Tomorrow is not only... Tomorrow not only her school would start, but her parents wouldn't be home anymore. March 24th, 6.25 a.m. She wakes up in her bedroom. There's a paper note near her. Must be my mother. Ayano grabs the note. Hi, sweetheart. Me and your father will go to America for some weeks. We have to do something important. Don't forget that your school starts today instead of April 1st. We will be back soon, your mother. Then they will be in America for a few weeks. Good for them. Ayano puts the, pa the paper note near the TV. For some reason, Academy High doesn't start today instead of April 1st. 
the same day as my birthday. And the entrance ceremony is only April 1st for some reason. 6.25 a.m. The school opens at 7 a.m. You might have to do some... So you might have to do something to pass the time. Pick two choices, so be cautious. I am going to... Read manga. Ayano picks the manga called Life Note and starts to read it. It's just a copy of something else. Dying Notes, Dead Notes, something like that. Ayano stops reading Life Note. Um, browse the internet. Turns on the, her computer and sees the, her Facebook. Nothing interesting as always. She already has, she always has zero notifications. She turns off her computer. It's already 6.45. It's a good idea to get to school. Whew. Feeling crappy. Sorry, guys. Ayano grabs her stuff and leaves her house. At the street. Ayano walks down the street. 6.50 a.m. The first class starts at 8.30 a.m. I'll wait until class starts when I get there. Ayano continues to walk. Um, hello? Ayano sees a purple-haired girl by her side. She looks very surprised. Excuse me, I was going to academic high school with my friend, Saki. We were supposed to meet here, but I got here a little late. And she isn't here. Have you seen her? She has dark cyan hair and her eyes are teal. Ayano is thinking when the asterisk appears in the dialogue. Who is this girl? What the hell does she want me to find her friend? Should I lie to her or tell her the truth? This changes nothing. I don't care if I have an evil or a good attitude. Doesn't matter what happens now. Um, I'm just gonna tell her the truth. There's no reason to lie to her about not seeing her friend. Oh, well, uh, thanks anyway. By the way, you have the same uniform as me. You m must be going to Academy, right? Yes. Well, let's go together then. <clears throat> By the way, my name is Kakona. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Ayano. Well, it's nice to meet you, Ayano-chan. Two girls walk together. This won't make any difference to me. <clears throat> Ayana or Kakona will remember that. Ayana will remember her decision. At Academy High, Ayana arrives at school with Kakona. Some of the other students have arrived as well. Thanks for helping me, Ayano chan. No problem. Okay. She smiles at you and walks away looking for her friend. Ayano walks to her locker. Academy sent an email to every student saying which locker was theirs some days ago. Ayano arrives to her locker. She hears some girls talking and boys talking. Should I listen to what they're saying? It would help me socialize with other people, which is what my mother wants me to do. <clears throat> and I don't even want to do this. Let's listen to the girls. Mm. Oh, God. Oh. <coughs> Ayano tries to hear what the girls are talking about. Um, excuse me, but have you seen a girl Saki around here? I think she hasn't arrived yet. Oh, I didn't know about this. Thanks, though. Looks like telling the truth would go like I predicted. No difference to me. Ayano starts to use her cell phone so time could pass faster. There's no one else here in the lockers. Should I go to the plaza? Ayano arrives at the plaza area. The class begins at 8.30. There's still 40 minutes left. Ugh, I have to wait. Ayano sees a boy sitting on the fountain. He's reading a, a book called I Am the Eggman, I Am the Walrus. By looking at his face, her, 
her heart starts to beat fast. This was a thing that had never happened to her in her entire life. She was feeling something she'd never felt in her entire life. Love? Love. Aww. End of chapter one. Chapter two, something called love. The boy didn't notice Yano looking at him. He was reading a book. She decides to sit on the bench, on the bench near her. She's almost running out of air. Silence is also an option. Am I, am I sick? How did I get sick? Is there a disease that makes someone suddenly feel like their heart is beating faster? I also fear, feel like butterflies are in my stomach. Is this what my mother calls love? Ayana's mother always wanted her daughter to find someone to love. Now she's found someone. Ayana looks to the boy one more time. Ayana suddenly smiles without knowing why. For the first time in her life, she was happy. I need to know more about this boy. Um. Huh. Let's talk to him. I can't hold on much longer. I know it's just a one-way track. I just gotta open my heart. It's gonna be all right. Screw this, I'll try and talk with him. Ayano gets up. A girl comes near the boy. Who's this bitch? <laughs> Who's this twin balls bitch? <laughs> Who's this twin tails bitch? And what is she doing near my senpai? Ayano will remember her decision. Tara, what are you doing here all alone? You should be having fun talking with somebody. Don't sit on a fountain and read some random book. His name is Taro. What a cute name. His mother is probably happy to have a son so beautiful as him. Well, you know me well, right? After all, we are friends since our childhood. I like to read, you know this. It's a very, the book is very good, you should read. You have to socialize, socialize. She should leave him alone. I should socialize too. She must be a son today. Stay quiet. She should leave him alone. Come on, she should leave him alone. He wants to read at the moment. And he wants to stay alone. How can't you understand this? Well, if you want to stay here with me, that's fine, Osana. The girl is called Osana. She continues to talk about something with Taro. Why does she want to talk with him, with him so much? I know, they're friends since childhood. I'm sorry. It's okay, babe, what's up? ETA is about a half hour. Alright. It's okay, you thank, enjoy it thank you for making dinner. I love you. I wanted to be the I wanted to be the one talking with him now instead of her. This makes me angry. Sigh. Ayana was happy with because of Taro a few minutes ago, and now for the first time in her life she f it was the first time in her life she felt like that. And now it was the first time in her life she was jealous. Hey! Hey, Yana-chan. Um, hey. I just wanted to thank you for telling me about not seeing Saki around and going to Akademi with me. She just arrived, she got lost, and eventually found her way here. Oh. No problem. Kakona smiles at you. She will remember this. Well, anyways, I might need help tomorrow. Could you help me? Okay, then. 
Well, it's it was actually 8.30 arrives. It was time for every student to go to their own classroom. Oh, I'm sorry guys, I'm feeling really shitty. But I'm gonna keep trudging through. Looks like I'll go now, bye. Every student in the plaza walks to their own classroom except for Ayano. When Taro gets up, Ayano notices something. A button of his uniform fell onto the ground. When everyone is gone, Ayano gets the button. I should put this in in my shrine. I'll call the shrine Senpai Shrine. Ayano puts the button in her pocket and goes to her own classroom. Later at 7.30 p.m. At Ayano's house. Ayano is already at home wearing her PJs. She was holding Taro's uniform button as she walked near Senpai Shrine. Senpai Shrine also has a photo of Taro from his Facebook profile. Ayano used her printer to print the photo. She also knew his full name was Taro Yamada. The girl puts the button in the shrine. There's also another photo of Taro on the corkboard. I don't want to sleep. She picked two choices. Let's play Five Dreams at Freddy. C <laughs> Five Dreams at Freddy Cougars. She is in Dream Four, and she couldn't finish the level. Oh come on! I want to know who did the kill of 1987, and then let's go to see Tara's profile. Ayano sees Taro's profile on Facebook. Ah. Ayano smiles. Ayano lies down on her bed while looking at the ceiling. She could not stop thinking about Taro Yamada. It feels so good. Oh, she's feeling something. That's good for her. It feels so good to be in love. It feels so good to be happy for the first time in my life. Ayano sleeps. Even if Iano was happy about finally finding love, she could not forget about something that happened one day ago. What was her father doing in the basement? Why did her mother want her to find those old tapes? Iano should go should Iano go to the basement and find the mysterious tapes? What was her mother and father hiding from her? It was better for Ayano to not know what those mysterious tapes were hiding. <sighs> oh, all right. I can do this. I can do this. I'm awesome. Okay. The 25th of March, Tuesday at 6.15 a.m. Ayano woke up. Ah, uh, what a nice dream I had. Ayano keeps looking at the ceiling for three minutes while she daydreams. I need to listen to music. This is weird. For the first time, I actually wanted to listen to music. Only one option, so we'll listen to that song. She gets her headphones and listens to Angel of the Morning. It's actually... They actually listened to the mu this music before in a movie. Mod made me watch a movie about a guy with a kind of regenerative power wearing a red suit. I think the name of the movie was Dead Punch or Red Pool. Ayano walked to the kitchen and turned to the toaster. Two minutes later, she grabs a, to she grabs a piece of toast from it. You know what they say. All toasters toast toast. <laughs> Ayano eats the toast. At 6.45 a.m., Ayano goes to Akademi. It's so nice to be in love. At, at 7.05 a.m., she arrives at school. Kokona wanted me to help her today, so... Hey, friend. Ayano notices Kokona near her. Um, hey. Kokona smiles at you. Ayano will remember her decision. 
You said you needed help, right? <sighs> yes. I'll explain to you. End of chapter two. Something called love. I'm gonna save right now. Um, and end this video here. I will pick up tomorrow with this episode, uh, with ep with part two of this game. Apparently there's a, there are five or five different endings and um, a ton of different decisions you can make about her and what she does. So uh, we'll definitely be exploring that and I'll save along the way at key points to go back and see what our other choices might be. But for now, thank you for watching and dealing with, you know, me being sick and all. Um, and have a really, really beautiful day.